Oh, our resident chef program. We've been really fortunate that uh, when we launched Wood for Reserve and what we thought was a very appealing flavor profile, we thought two things, cocktails and the world of culinary arts. Because Brown Foreman uh, is just very interested in that. The Brown family has, has always championed those causes, those, those aspects of our life. Because um, Brown Foreman's always had an executive dining room and now the dining room is open to all employees as the Bourbon Street Cafe with an executive chef. So Brown Foreman knows cooking with bourbon, enjoying bourbon with meals. And that led us to have a chef in residency program here. And we're so fortunate that we had David Larson from Lexington first and David retired. And now Weta Michael from the famous Holly Hill Inn and Wallace Station and the list goes on because she is quite a restaurant entrepreneur here in Central Kentucky. Classically trained chefs um, have come through. We've actually in this very spot hosted Julia Child and she chose a barrel of wood for reserve. We've had Bobby Flay and Emeril and Wolfgang Puck and other celebrity chefs come through cooking with Woodford Reserve. So it's been wonderful because when I joined the industry, and you probably remember the days, bourbon went into baked beans, barbecue sauce, and pecan pie, and maybe anything that had chocolate with it, and maybe the occasional sweet potato casserole. And that was it. And because I really believe because of Woodford Reserve and Brown Foreman's efforts, you can have rosemary shrimp glazed with bourbon. You can have Sebring. You can have filet mignon, roasted vegetables. The list goes on and on with bourbon in the recipe, bourbon in the basting, bourbon accompanying it with a specific cocktail. And now we have these wonderful things called bourbon dinners that restaurants around the country are doing, theming bourbon, specific brands or groups of bourbons with the chef's creations from the kitchen. And it's just amazing. So we have really seen another sea change in how bourbon is appreciated. So now, we're not, we're not going to replace wine at a fine dining uh, establishment, but we can be there with wine, which just blows people's minds.